All right, so guys, I got the official WhatsApp beta to run on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And so if you launch WhatsApp on your watch, you pretty much see the conversations as you would on your phone. And you can obviously just, you know, hit the mic icon to send a voice response. Or you could even just type out the entire message using the keyboard on the Galaxy Watch 5. And this would actually work on all watches that are running the latest Wear OS. And that includes, you know, the Galaxy Watch 4, the Watch 5, the Watch 5 Pro, all of those watches. Now I've actually created this tutorial for you guys. So if you could just follow step by step, it should be pretty easy for you to get this official beta version of WhatsApp on your watch. Let's go. So first thing, go to the description and hit this link. Okay, it's going to open up a page where you'd be asked if you want to enroll into the beta version and you say yes, become a tester and you'll see a prompt that says, welcome to the testing program. Now go to your Google Play Store and you'll see that an update is pending for WhatsApp Messenger beta. And you'll also see that your watch will show up if it's connected to your phone and it says you can install. Now, if you see my watch right now does not have WhatsApp, but yeah, I can update the WhatsApp Messenger and then install on the watch as well. And then as soon as I click, you'll see like, you know, a tiny download icon on the watch and it'll show that, hey, it's downloading WhatsApp Messenger. And once that's done, you'd see all the way at the bottom, which of course you can move up. I've got the WhatsApp icon. Now if I click on it, it's going to first show me a code that I actually need to enter into my phone so it can pair or link my watch with the phone uh, and the WhatsApp on the phone. And yeah, there you go. It's done. And now let's say you get a WhatsApp notification, which is normal, you've been getting this, but you now see an option called open on watch. And that would take that message and open it up with WhatsApp Messenger on your watch. And you'll be able to reply to it with a voice note, or you could just open up the keyboard and type a response. And in case of voice note, it would record your voice and send it as a voice note. And basically with the app installed on your watch, you can now do two things which you couldn't do earlier. First, you can now pick a person or a group and send a message, be someone who initiates a message through the app. And second, you can now look at the entire conversation on the watch and not just the last message that came as a notification. And yeah, that's how you get WhatsApp on your watch. It's obviously not fully functional in a lot of ways that you might want it to, but it's a start. It's somewhere and I think I like the direction it's going in. Okay, that's it guys. And if in case you do face any difficulties, just, you know, drop a comment uh, and I'll try to help you out. And if you did find this video helpful, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel guys, and hit that bell notification icon and mark all so you don't miss videos like this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.